So first of all, I would like to thank the organizers of the group here for being here. And uh, it's for me also a very interesting presentation of different types of subjects. As you see, the core, maybe the boy, when we're speaking about ERDS, uh, banked. Uh, Penny showed us the relationship with CAS and how it can be integrated. We, from Averro, learned a lot from the University of Ghent already for some years. So also the problem in Belgium show us that there's a big diversity how the people are approaching these problems of doctoral schools. And uh, I will show if other way around <laughs> and other problems still because I'm doing the jobs uh, till, uh, two years ago. Uh, you see my name is very Czech or Polish, Maloney, it's not a Polish name, I'm not a Polish, I'm German, but my father came from uh, Prussia. I'm very old already, you see. <laughs> That's why, I, uh, but I'm working in Avial already 21 years, so I'm feeling as a, as a Portuguese, I could present also in Portuguese and Russian if you want. So, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, but surely not fluently in English, but nevertheless, I hope you understand it. If you have uh, questions and do not understand, I say it also to my students, if I speak not well Portuguese, then please ask me. Yes, um, uh, then let's go. Uh, where is Avero situated? I first start with the presentation of the university a little bit, then especially what we are doing in the doctoral schools, and then I will show you more the potential which the university has, then already uh, implemented concrete steps and concrete, um, uh, let's say, uh, const uh, constructed completely the doctoral schools. We, we have all this uh, objectives in mind. Uh, we have analyzed everything, but in fact, I'm, I'm the coordinator of the doctoral school, but I'm almost alone. We do not have administrative, special devoted administrative uh, support. This is after two years fighting this will start next month. So we have hope, a lot of hope, and I know we have a, a good vision and we have the help of a lot of people. Uh, we met uh, until now, and that in one, three years, uh, I should be patient, my colleagues said. Me. We will have a good, well working doctoral schools. But you understand, Portugal is in crisis very much. We have a Troika, and we have a big reduction of uh, budget, and so one cannot do so much as we want. But with the help of uh, our colleagues from other countries, I think the, to use Horizon 2020 will be a good opportunity for everybody, and especially also for us. So, yeah, maybe you have been already in Portugal, uh, but Aguero is not so well known. Coimbra is the oldest university, and of course Algarve and uh, Porto maybe for engineers is well known. But I know Padre had had a lot of contacts already with other universities and polytechnics also in Portugal. So, if I show you this, you will not think that there somebody can do serious research. <laughs> we are living in the place of Salines uh, and uh, very nice, close to the Atlantic Ocean, it's about seven kilometers, and then you are in such nice fisher villages and boats, and so it's, it's paradise. And the university is also very new. Uh, we started in the end of 73, already four months before the April Revolution. You know, listen about the history of Portugal. This was one of the new universities founded in this moment, just before the whole uh, country changed. And uh, the first people involved and the staff came from the well, Portuguese, came, came coming from Mozambique and Angola and African countries from the colonies, from the colonies. And they uh, were very successful in Aveiro and in Braga, let's say. These are the both uh, uh, universities of uh, 40 years' existence, which are where 
in the whole system of universities situated. And uh, you can see we have a wonderful campus. Everybody who works there like it very much. Yeah, we have new buildings. This is the recreation. This is uh, the library uh, for this building. Our most famous architecture got the Pritzker Prize. So uh, these are the area. And here's the math department where I'm working, and on the other side is the rectory. The students have, when it is rainy, and it's also rainy very much, then they can go around here with something. <laughs> the roof, uh, yeah, you should, you should come. So, but uh, what is our what is speciality? The, the founder of the university were aware that they should find uh, an, old, an old field. They could not follow the traditional way with traditional faculties and everything. So they have chosen at the beginning telecommunications, ceramics, engineering, <coughs> environmental, ambient, at that time it was not very actual, but uh, for example, Gunnar Brundtland, uh, the prime minister from Iceland, so she was, uh, she is honorary causa, honoris causa of our university. So, um, Urban planning, this was important, the country was in the phase of developing very much industrial management. These are fields where uh, we have innovations, let's say, on uh, national level, very much clear. The, the binary system <coughs> uh, means that we have included also in our university polytechnical in, in, uh, education. This is also an innovative moment in Portugal. Uh, and uh, I think it's on the right way because we have uh, in the north of Abel we have, for example, shoe industry, we have textile industry, and this uh, needs not a high, uh, in the fourth, first, not a high university uh, um, education, but polytechnics uh, are useful, the technical education for this, and uh, this uh, was the reason that uh, we started in this in last year also with a. Uh, Polytechnics in the north of Arbeo. So then <coughs> we have, I said already, no faculties. We have 16 departments. Uh, the main fields, let's say, are engineering from the historical development already, but not only. Uh, sciences are well uh, developed, and mathematics, where I came from, uh, was in just when I was coming, was trying to overcome only the, the work as a service for all the engineers or for other sciences, but to develop also as a research institution. And uh, I can say we were rather successful because we are also in the staff very international. I have, I have around 10 colleagues from other countries, and uh, it was uh, a good way open the mind. This, we can send our students to other countries. It was uh, very, very useful. So then we have also some, some other branches, uh, humanitarian arts and the, the schools. So I have to be quick. So we are working all together. There are not barriers uh, between faculties and, and uh, other faculties. So this is a modular structure, a matrix structure, as we say. So here are the departments, you see the polytechnics here, and they are in the center of research, they are working together. Mm -hmm. We have Nokia, Siemens there, uh, we have PT Innovation, Telecommunication that started, we have such a structure of um, working, research and teaching. And uh, it seems to us until now very successful, but for the aims of constructing doctorate schools, it was not so uh, an easy task because uh, you, you should uh, expect, uh, if I as a mathematician are sitting with a musician or with somebody from, from languages in the same place and deciding about the politics uh, of the, in the, in the council, for example, then it makes problem uh, to understand each other. So we, we, we used the opportunity with the creation of the doctorate schools to unite <coughs> uh, um, associated fields, so that the sciences have now a place to discuss, to develop programs, doctoral programs, and the humanities and the engineering. This is, uh, is a big uh, difference. 
So about uh, the number of students, uh, about 1,400 students are PhD students, among this 14,000 regular students. We have staff of around 1,000 professors uh, and uh, still postdocs who is founding from outside. And uh, the composition of our budget is here given. The students, our students pay fee. Now around in a bachelor degree about thousand dollars. It's not easy. And it took some time, but this was the sign of it, such a research brings one fifth you see uh, money to the university. That's very very good. This is the reason that we survived now the crisis in rather I cannot say it in rather good way. Uh, not easy, but uh, what is the distribution of the third cycle of our doctoral students in the last year? Most of them are coming from sciences and mathematics. <coughs> then engineering, of course, uh, has a uh, big contribution. Social sciences, uh, it's, uh, we have a management department. Tourism is a uh, uh, subject, so it is also uh, important. But uh, 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 humanities and arts, language, music, but, uh, arts and uh, new communications, it's called. They contribute also very much to the PhD. Uh, health and welfare, this is a system you also mentioned from OECD or something, the system to divide um, are less, but uh, we, we are doing. So these are the scientific area accumulated now from 1918. This was the moment when the first PhD uh, started to be given to the students about 10 years or almost six, seven years. The university did not qualify for a PhD. So you see the overwhelming number comes from sciences as a <coughs> then, then the engineers and then education uh, also is a big contribution. Now let me say, say some uh, words specially about the uh, doctoral schools. Uh, and this is maybe interesting for you because you are also not uh, speaking about the doctoral school uh, explicitly, no? but you are doing the job of the doctoral yeah, school. Exactly. <laughs> and it must not be the name. Uh, but for the when it was asked in an inquiry, the inquiry of European level, do doctoral or graduate schools exist in your higher education system? The answer was no. And really, Aviano was the first university who decided, uh, that decided to create a doctoral school with the name of doctoral school. school. Porto, our big neighbor, decided almost in the same time also to do the same, but until now they did not uh, find a director, they made elections for the council and something, but it is not advancing. I spoke with a field vice director. <coughs> months ago, and uh, it's not easy, but they have faculties that cannot so directly construct a new entity. And I understand. In Evora, the university in the countryside, uh, they opted uh, to work uh, with the uh, Insti uh, Institute of Research and Advanced Training. They understand themselves also as a doctoral school. In general, in the last years, the new University of Lisbon created also a, a doctoral school, it's called NOVA, has a special name, and uh, they have one advantage. They have in uh, the university departments where you can very easily uh, prepare uh, training skills uh, of, uh, let's say, management and economical subjects and, and so on. That, that's what we cannot do. In, in the moment we have created one new uh, discipline, academic writing, and we have done something in this sense also with help from outside, but this is not not so easy. Yeah, and you see, and this is especially the national report prepared by the general direction of uh, higher education was not informed well what what happens in the country. We do not have a national uh, policy. Uh, there, everybody speaks about the autonomy of the universities. And it's very fine, but without a vision for all universities, you cannot work so easy as it should be. And this is a pity. I know 
the penny spoke about Wales for the whole part, it's part, it's almost a country. <laughs> you have a, a common vision here, a common organization, right? right? Collaborating. We didn't uh, we didn't at the beginning. Yeah, but, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but maybe one should have also such thing like yes, then and, and the willingness to do so. That's important. Uh, okay, I'm complaining. I should not. No. It's <laughs> only to show you the difficulty. Yeah, and uh, I took from uh, documents from the European Commission, uh, Commission this situation, uh, the intensity of research and development. The contribution Portugal stands here. You see. Uh, in uh, yeah, in, uh, with one and a half, and then the target is three. Uh, you, you know these numbers, uh, but Portugal and here is Czech Republic. You are here. It's a difference. You know, what uh, we want, should should do. And uh, since in all meetings on European level I have been now with this, uh, in this function, I uh, listened a lot about the plans of Europe that we need 1 million PhDs until 2030, that we should compete with Japanese, Japan and, and the states in this process of, of bringing PhDs to the, to the enterprises. And, uh, uh, this is very interesting, but the reality is, is very difficult and Europe at the moment is struggling very much, but uh, it's not easy. And you see here also, you are here, Czech Republic is here, we, you had clearness what you want for the organization of the doctoral education. This is from an inquiry of 2010, so it's not so, so long time ago. But Portugal you will not find here. And it's also clear that one should not have uh, only a doctoral school, but can this also work, that do in a mixed version? Yeah, but Portugal did not have or has not uh, um, national vision of policy. Poland, uh, Portugal, nothing. Okay, these are some, some dates from European level. <coughs> but as I already said, we started with a uh, formal creation. We have a uh, regul regulamentation for this, this exists. Or we had even a, a, a call, an international call for the coordinator of, of the doctoral schools. Uh, Rector was hoping that this could work, but at the end there were some candidates. But at the end they asked a half a half foreigner to do this job. And since I had already experience in, in the institute which exists for the postgraduate education, when the Bologna process started, after a long time of thinking, I accepted this offer, and now I try to do my best. Uh, we started immediately with the division, you see, the PhD programs that existed at that time and now at the moment are 45 PhD programs, some very specialized, some more general, but uh, we have divided and are working now together and sitting and uh, developing programs in four groups, art, humanities and social sciences, engineering science and technology, life and health sciences, nature science and mathematics. And we have an international advisory board, we have the council, and we have the executive commission. And if you want to see the structure, maybe once you are also thinking about such things. <laughs> yeah, the, the vice director is probably vice director for this important I have no time to change the thing. It's uh, the vice director for research and doctoral schools. Uh, I'm the coordinator here in the commission. The commission is three colleagues from the other branches from the other uh, sections and um, we are trying to manage and to develop now the ideas. The future will uh, be used to, to realize all of this. We have the international um, advisory board, we have the council, we have these sections. And this is, I say, it's, it's the academic part of the construction of the doctoral schools, maybe, I'm not wrong. And here we have all the administrative sections which are working. These are, these are services for the students, the libraries. Uh, <coughs> these are the, the support for uh, ID and uh, this is for research. This is other groups we have uh, also for, for the mobility, the international uh, relationship, you know, where you know already now how it's uh, 
It's an Irish uh, colleague, uh, very, very well doing the job and uh, uh, professional integration, yeah, what happens after. But there's a problem for our master students. We have a system already uh, well, well developed, but for PhD, it's not so that we are having a follow up for, uh, and uh, guarantee postdoc positions, for example, or something. This is uh, still uh, going on. Yeah, here you see that uh, the number of PhD students is rising rather well up to 2011. We have uh, the total number 145. Uh, in uh, 2012, we had uh, 173. And the last year, in 2013, we had 119 uh, PhD students. So it is a constant growing, constant increasing number of PhD students. And uh, we have also a lot of PhD students from other countries. Okay, yeah, but you see also to have the profile here, we have a lot of students from former colonies, because it's easy with colonies yeah, to, to study in, in Portugal. And here we have now in the last year also an increasing number of students from other countries, not only in the parlors in this language, Portuguese language speaking countries. And you see the variation is very big. Uh, but it's yeah, written in, in Portuguese. You understand. Nevertheless, Tunisia is Tunisia. <laughs> <laughs> from Iran, from Nepal, even. This was a big curiosity in the last uh, uh, section meeting. Somebody said, Imagine we have now somebody from Nepal. It's, it's not an easy task, and it's not because we are keen to have only some, somebody. No, we have also a quality, quality management, we have a system to check. But it's uh, for us sometimes not, not so easy to understand that also students from other countries come with a very well prepared uh, knowledge. Uh, mainly also because they were, they were already in other countries. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you see Europe and uh, South America, Africa, Asia, all are here presented. And here, this is to show what uh, we are dealing with also. This is the result of a call of our National Science Foundation for uh, 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 scholarships um, starting with the end of this, the last year, the beginning of this year. And we have, for example, this I indicated on international level, a PhD program on international level. It's about, this is in English, Biology and Ecology of Global Changes. It's very, very... <laughs> Good uh, program. We have the only one program with uh, industry until now, and that's why we have hope also that we can use and have students now for the AIDS. Uh, and then we have on national level other programs, uh, PhD programs which got money, numbers of scholarships, you see, and you see also this art is done in a consortium, in a network of. Uh, Portuguese universities and not and, and international universities. So uh, this is, and you see this collaboration map in the case Braga, Aveiro, and Porto, these three universities. These are in the north, the three leading universities. And we unite already to have some regional uh, collaboration, maybe something <laughs> like in, in Wales. So, and uh, we have, of course, here yeah, the region together, also not only a PhD formation, we have success in Erasmus uh, application, here the, the former Portuguese speaking countries, Portuguese speaking countries, uh, mentioned we have this research center, and, and you see which type of research, it's, it's a rather big university, I was here now in the afternoon in cell biology, but uh, this is for plants, it's not for... <laughs> yeah, that's why I was, was asking. And uh, yeah, research schools, and you see, we have uh, a big part of all the centers were evaluated, but this was only seven years ago. So now we have a new round, but they were evaluated excellent, the highest rank, 
then seven very good and good one and only two uh, got not support, they were qualified as fair. Uh, among them also the, the language department. But I know they were stigmatized because of not getting funding during these years. Yeah? And they were so, doing so well that now we have the chance that all centers will be evaluated in, in the right way. Yeah, the European and the national projects, national projects, and you see uh, here the, the European uh, map, uh, the network, and you see it, uh, we the, the brochure, this book that I gave to you is about the research day we are doing every year in June, where about 400 posters of all our PhDs and uh, doctorants are exposed and uh, they, they are presenting the results, we will be giving the prizes and to be invited uh, from other universities as key speakers, um, famous uh, scientists and uh, so we, we, we have a rather good, uh, uh, let's say, atmosphere but it could be better. It's, it's, it's concentrated on the research side and without too much uh, looking to research as a subject also for higher, let's say, education. Yeah? So this, this is what we, we have to do. But yeah, we are very proud of our physicists, especially that they have publication in nature, science, and you know that for ranking it's good. So, uh, we have uh, four invited chairs. Only two are working at the moment, the other are still in, in construction, let's say. They come uh, with money from the industry, from our Sparkas, uh, Nokia Siemens, and Jerome Martich also a very uh, important retail management uh, business. And uh, here's uh, the, the success and our place in, in publications, benchmarking for Portugal. You see, it's really uh, perhaps uh, Abel is the, is the best successful uh, universities. University in Portugal. Nevertheless, the amount of publications in Coimbra and Porto are not this bigger, but uh, yeah, ranking, you know, it has two sides. It cannot be the only one to, to value the, the success. But uh, it's nice, then you see from outside that um, you are here almost in the Gaussian, uh, nearby to the top. 500 <laughs> in this small number of, of best universities. So, and here the top university in live rank ranking, maybe you listen about, was on the, of, of the youngest universities with less than 50 years uh, uh, existence. Then in material sciences, we are really good in the world, 12th in Europe, so this is our, our excellence field. In uh, university and here 66, so this is 66, right. second best university times average. Okay. But uh, new trends is are the main fields for uh, uh, for multidisciplinarity. Uh, we they are connected with the uh, chairs, with invited chairs. Uh, then, and this is also important, and I would like to show it to you and also to, to you, because of the connection with the industry, and it's very important, and our vice director for this uh, subject is very active, to have first uh, for, for spin-off universities, this incubator, uh, and uh, then also here are some, some uh, numbers and some uh, enterprises which were founded, some are not living very long, but nevertheless, yeah, it shows the interest and the, cap uh, the capability to, to do so. And uh, also the problem of patents, and uh, so you know it's very important to value the relationship with the university. Um, I have been in the Bosch, uh, uh, as I told you, uh, the enterprise we have in the Avenue region from Bosch. Um, and uh, they have our students, master and PhD student there, and uh, they told me per year 10 patents for such a, yeah, 10, 10 patents in, in average. Well, it's, it's a lot. 
and here some contracts with, uh, with up and down, and the, the, the last is the Science and Innovation Park, something for technology transfer. Technology transfer. And this is what, what is planned. You see the building is in bad, what is missing? The money that started also before, before the crisis, and now we have a nice place, but we cannot construct so as we want. Uh, investment came, did not came, uh, but you have hope that it, uh, it works. Once. Okay, I skipped. Here, the research day. Is, here we have other activities also for the students. So also if you would like to send somebody uh, to a girl, then you should take into account that the university is, in my opinion, uh, maybe not so active like Coimbra, not so attracting, but we are doing a lot. We have an uh, own orchestra, uh, we have just studied the theatre, uh, festivals. So, and uh, uh, yeah, India platform is here. There we are both, Palwice and Ghent, uh, and Aveo is also collaborating there. We, we try to stay in. European international organizations. Our uh, former rector, Professor Elena Nazare, is the president of the European University Association. So in this sense, we have also a lot of opportunity and reasons to think that we can once uh, uh, succeed. Yeah, I will change whatever you see here. Here. Yeah. Uh, 77 countries are represented on the campus. 77. Yeah, and not only, not only students, of course. This is growing and this is Erasmus and everything. Uh, the research staff is also, but there, because of missing of funding, it was now uh, going down. And the academic staff, already, we are already in, coming in age, that people coming 20 years ago uh, will soon and uh, finish the carry, but we try to do our best. And so maybe we can fulfill what is here written and very proudly on our university in this aspect. But you see, you should come and we will stay in context. So I, have, I think we will have a nice future in collaboration. Thank you.